Oh. Uh, I'd like if it's okay with you to get River Girl in here. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't. It's okay. I don't want her thinking there's something, something going on that she can't be part of. That would just like be totally freaky. <laughs> nah, uh. So thanks for taking some time off, especially like River on like Mother's Day, when she should just be like, what? <laughs> I said Mother's Day. What's Mother's Day? Well, I mean, if it, if it, if I lived your life, girl. On Mother's Day, I would be on the bus with a suitcase going to the beach and say, Say ya! Yeah. <laughs> with the bank card. With the bank card. So, Granny, I want to introduce you to Simon. Simon's in the in the call with us. That's uh, one of our main builders. And I uh, know. I'm scared to death. What are you doing bringing the big guns over here, kid? <laughs> and, and, and Vinny 8 Ball. Dude. Well. Hello. Yeah, hi. Whoa, I'm way up in here now. So, um, you've been inside the pot. How do you like where you spawned? Isn't that groovy? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> See, when you get down in that glass tube in the middle, there's going to be... Oh, I, maybe I'll put them in already. Are there chests with some survival gear in them? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think I see some chests down here. Yeah, underwater. Yeah. Now, if you're a real tricksy player, you could probably hit the ladder and climb out, but you wouldn't have any gear. It makes sense to just fall down the bottom of the pot. The problem is, the longer you hang out down there, the more mobs are going to spawn. Because the pot is just big enough that mobs spawn around you. That's cool. Did mobs so, spawn in the water? Or just on the sides? No, of just on the sides of the thing. But there's enough spots in there. I think maybe spiders cannot spawn. But I've seen ender pants and skeletons and everybody else hanging out in here. I've got mobs off right now because I'm working and I've got like temples and stuff. And I don't want anybody stepping on pressure plates. So this is the spawn jar. This is the turtle mother jar. She's still being built, so don't get too snippy. No, don't worry about it. We, just no, yeah, we, we, we completely understand, you know, that things, things can be a work in progress. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just the beginning of the map. I've only been on the server about a week. Uh, and uh, in case somebody gets smart, see up there where the dog is, the dogs are all going to be coyote. Where the dog is, there's going to be a teleporter button. Now, there's always going to be smarty pantses who think, oh, well, I'll just jump off the jar, which is why I put some water and vines, all right? Also, I want the jar to look like it's spilling out because in a Puebloan um, culture, uh, uh, religious and creation myths, you come out of the third world, that's what the jar is, into the fourth world, which is the earth we live on now. So I want it to look like th life is flowing out of the jar, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so there's going to be some smarty who's going to try to jump off the jar. So I thought I'd cut him some slack and give him some water to land in. <laughs> and then from then on, it's like, Jack, you are on your own. Because the best way to get from place to place is to just TP. And if you look at the warps, you can see where to warp to. The first place you go to from here is the Hogan. Hey, maybe, you know what, uh, it would be good of you to explain to the guys kind of what the purpose is of the map. Ah. Yeah, like the map is called Turtle Island. Turtle Island is a, a modern coined expression among indigenous and Native American people for pretty much the North American continent, although there is a lot of leakage from Central and South America into the definition of Turtle Island, um, because it's basically an indigenous environmentalist kind of a thing, but not, that's kind of really um, under explaining it. Um, it's about trying to reclaim stuff that's been taken. And it's um, an adventure map, right? Yeah, it's kind of an adventure map, but it's also in survival. So people can um, mine and stuff like uh, Kurt and uh, what's his name? Brian are playing um, Wayward Wonders by Mondi. And it's one of those kind of maps where you can either just straight teleport to the quest and try to finish the quest and come back. Or if you're real smart, you kind of mine around in the area and you'll snoop and you'll adventure around on your own. Because there's going to be a whole lot of little tricksy, Easter eggy, looty, chesty. Oh, plus, um, when Centurion put this on, I had him set the dungeons to, like, max. And I'm going through the game with Game Mode 3 and uh, making pillars where the dungeons are so I know where they are. And I'm going to make kind of like, not easy peasy, but if you're paying attention, you'll see little tunnels that guide you to the um, loot. Oh, 
and I'll put a little bit of um, special loot in the chest. And uh, there, there are some absolute things that you absolutely have to have. This jar here at the beginning is going to be cracked. It's lined at the bottom so that when it's cracked on the bottom, it'll have water particles but not water leaking through. So the crack is, it's a metaphor for the world and the world is broken and um, it's in danger of not, it's still functional, it still holds water, but um, it's, it's in danger of being destroyed. And the player's job, it's, an, it's sort of like the, uh, it's sort of like a CTM map. You find the proper blocks to um, place in the jar, to restore the jar. That's kind of the ultimate goal, and there's a big old honking thing that happens um, when you do that. In the meantime, in the places that you visit and the places you warp to, there are going to be other items. They're just going to look like regular items in a chest unless you mouse over them and see that some of them are named weird. And then that's why I wanted you to go to the Hogan area. Um, that's when you go to the, I guess you'd call it home base. Okay. It looks like a Navajo Hogan on the surface, and it's pretty much got all your basic stuff you need. And then underground is storage, so you can store loot that you find. And a Hogan is, a, is like a... Like Navajo a house. Can we warp to Hogan? Yeah, forward slash warp Hogan. Well, I know how to do it. I'm just asking if we can. I'm trying yeah. to be a polite hostess. Okay. okay, so you just walked away from it. Dude, come back. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Get your hot. What are you doing? Okay. Dang, man. Back. Speedy. Back. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay, now somebody had too much coffee for breakfast. So this is your home base. There are how many beds? Four beds made up to look like some kind of like chill wax place like a sofa kind of thing um the music discs are going to matter too i'm going to turn my game sounds down y'all guys sound like heffa um the music discs are going to matter too i'm 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 going to call in a favor i'm not saying it's going to happen i have a friend who one of her besties besties on the whole planet is um ms navajo from a couple of years ago who is a brilliant singer and you know grammys and the native american music awards and all that stuff i would like to get some little um cuts of red miller's songs and put them on the discs on the resource pack oh, how cool is that? yeah also what you need to know about coyote because coyote goes through this whole thing and i know i'm not pronouncing it right shut up manuel this sounds fine. um yeah. anyway coyote is this trickster guy who like you know Jack and the Beanstalk and how, like, was it his mom or his wife? You're an idiot. You bought, you sold, sold the cow for magic beans, right? Right. But then, like, Jack isn't stronger than the giant, but he, like, outsmarts the giant, you know? Well, there's a whole bunch of Native American stories like that. Downstairs is the, this is storage. Also, to keep him from having to grind, I gave him the basics, you know? I mean, they can grind if they want. I mean, I would grind because I'm just a grinder. So this is where they can store whatever they find, right? Cool. Yeah. And I gave them the enchant table and all that stuff so they don't have to spend a lot of time distracted by that crap. Yeah. All right, so every place you go on this map, there's going to be a coyote story, all right? And there's also going to be a little bit of Native American history from basically Ostland, this, this part of Native America, okay, because this is what I know best. I will go into more research for future maps, but for this one I wanted to, I have a lot of information already and I wanted to use it because nobody's doing Native American stuff in Minecraft and it's a darn shame. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so every, excuse me, every time you do a quest, oh, now we have to go to the village and I don't remember what I called it, Splitwood, Splitwood, we have to work to Splitwood, ow, I'm pulling my ears off. Um, warp, 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 what did I say? Splitwood? Uh, my dog thinks I'm talking to him, he's all happy. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not usually this nice to him, so, oh, you have to get out of here. So when I make pleasant voice noises, he's like, really, for me? No, I'm kidding. Oh, uh, uh, poor dog. <laughs> yeah, my dog is totally to the spoiled rotten point. Is this the right place? Um, okay. why am I asking you? Okay, this is Splitwood. Now, what you need, now, see, the pot is broken. Um, this is two villages. I these, this is real close to where we just were. I'm. I, that's the other thing, Manuel. I want to keep this map small. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I did push two villages right in here together. This is where you can like farm. I obviously I haven't finished the fences yet. 
there's donkeys and horses and stuff, and there's enough um, saddles nearby in that bunch of spawners and whatnot that, you know, so they can get around that way if they want to. But here's the thing. Outside the fence, it's, da it's very dangerous because it's not healthy because the land has been messed up. In fact, inside the fence, there's going to be, um, it, there's going to be a lot of degradation of the environment. Okay? Mm -hmm. But outside the fence, there's going to be oil wells, there's going to be coal mines pushing down the mountains, wow. and there's going oh, to be, awesome. there's going to be uranium poisoning. And do you know who's, do do you know who Sparks is from Accidental Gaming? He worked on the Templecraft project? Yes, I do. All right. Sparks was on the other day, and he, I told him I needed a thing. So he worked on it with me. In fact, I put a video on my thing. Um, he made me a thing so that if you, they're invisible armor stands on command blocks, and once your armor stand is in place, I break the command block. The main gizmo is down underneath, kind of where the Hogan is, okay? Um, me, 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 me. Um, so I've got my, I'm getting my big, um, what do you call it, uh, bedrock box together to put all my tricksy stuff in. Okay, so if I place one of these armor stands, I'm not going to do it now because I don't remember the commands, yada, yada. Um, I put one of those invisible armor stands down, break the command block. If you walk on sand within 55, no, five blocks, within five blocks of the armor stand, if you walk on sand, you get two poison. If you walk on water, I mean, if you're in water that's on sand, you get like four or five poison. I don't remember which. You get really sick and you get the green bubbles. And here's the real cool part. Any sheep, only sheep, but any sheep that are near the radiation poisoning die. Aww. Yeah. Aww. So, I, I, yeah, we massacred sheep and I was like, no. <laughs> But it's because it's it's really real. I've got friends out there in Gallup that, you know, their grandmas and stuff can't go home because um, what they did was they took all the uranium out of the ground and anything they didn't want, they just pooped it out on the surface and the wind blew it and it's in the water and in the grass and the sheep are poisoned. And one guy, he built his whole house out of materials from the mines and now his whole family's got radiation poisoning. So I'm not going to preach and I'm not going to soapbox. But, like, you know who our Smellic is? Yeah. Okay. He was like, radiation? Um, he was like, radiation poisoning? I thought you were doing a map about Native Americans. I said, yeah, that's why there's radiation poisoning in it. He's like, what? So he came over and he saw the video I made with Sparks where I explained it to Sparks. And he's all like, dude, I didn't know that was a thing. And I'm like, yeah, man, these are my neighbors. I got to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's not preachy, but... I, you know, it's not going to be like, go out and hug a tree, kids. You know, that kind of stuff. I just want to tell the truth. I, I, have, I have the utmost respect for what you're doing. Um, one of my close friends that I actually uh, play uh, Xbox games with, uh, for the first person shooters goes, uh, is on uh, close to the Navajo Reservation. And, yeah. Um, and something that he educated me on that I had never known was that for a lot of uh, Native American um, settlements and Native American uh, you know, set aside territories, they don't even own their land. The no. The federal government forces them to sign a, like, 60-year, 100-year lease for one dollar. Yeah. But in an effect, they are not their landowners. Right. And and that, I mean, it's, it's subjugation. It's, it's a clear, um, you know, inequality that, that it's, not, it's not talked about. So I, I have a lot of respect for what you're doing and, and the Native American. Well, like, the... Uh... Um, the federal government estimated that each Navajo family requires 35 sheep to be self-sustaining. Navajo, until all this junk started about it. In the 1970s, you could still meet Navajo people who did not know anything about a cash economy. Everything was done by barter and trade, and, I, you know, I'm, I, I'll, you take care of your cousins, man. You just do that, you know? And... A cute trick they pulled was the feds figured out, okay, 35 sheep per person. So we're going to confiscate all but 10, I mean, per family. So we're going to confiscate all but 10 of their livestock. They can't have any more than that. Well, what that did was it forced any able-bodied man, thank you for making it daytime. It forced any able-bodied man to go to Flagstaff or Phoenix or something like that to look for paid work, right? Yeah. And then that's like 75 miles, man. Yeah. So they're like, and they're driving Indian cars, man. I mean, we're not talking about, you know, like Hummers and yeah. stuff. No, 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 my, friend just, my friend just told me that you. <laughs> so, um, 
So they finally like, okay, this one guy, is, his mom got, she couldn't do the firewood thing, and so she got really sick one winter because she almost froze to death. So they they said, well, you can't stay on the land anymore. The rest of the family had already moved to, I think it was Flagstaff. Yeah. So they moved mom off the land and put her in Flagstaff with them, which she hated it. And then the feds came in and said, okay, you moved off your land, so we're going to take it because nobody's habitating it anymore. So they just took his freaking land, man. So, yeah, that kind of stuff goes on all the time. But I don't want to preach, and I don't want to have big, long lectures like all this stuff I just told you. Mm -hmm. what, okay, here's what happens. What you come you? into this map, and you have just been born. In, you've just come out of the third world into the fourth world. You have just been born. You don't know spit from Shinola. And little bit by little bit, you get more and more exposure. Now, you've got that first hub there, that Hogan thing, where you can come back and bring your stuff. And you got plenty of storage. There's a refrigerator that spits out rabbit stew. And because I want people to get that, you know, native people aren't savages and all that junk. So that's why they have that chill entertainment center and a refrigerator and that kind of stuff. Um, and so that's home base. That's what you go back to between quests. This over here is your resource place. This is where you, you know, because you got your villagers to trade with and all that kind of junk. And then you go on various quests throughout the map. There's about, I think I found maybe three temples and two villages right near spawn. I don't want to go far from spawn. That's why I want to do the teleport thing because it'll feel like they've gone farther than they really have. Yeah. After you finish the quests, you have to basically get the wool, but it's not going to be wool, and repair the pot. And you have to find those little items that are going to go into those hopper chesty kind of doodles. And when, when they go in the hopper chest, they will spit out a piece of a Minecraft map that I'm going to have retextured as like a puzzle piece. You put together six of them and it makes a Native American painting or, or artwork or something like that. You build a wall and you put your artwork up on the wall and you will get a music disc. When you've collected all the music discs, when you've repaired the pot, and when you um, have found all the little stuff so you can make your paintings, your art, map things, I does English good. Then what happens is um, you are free because this part here with the village and that part over there by the Hogan, you can move free. But I want barrier blocks around it so that you can't go into the beautiful land free. The only This is going to be ugly over here. This is going to be all tore up. Alright, this is going to be like Gallup, man. There's going to be travel trailers, and there's going to be billboards and electrical thingies. Oh, and yeah. It's going to be ugly. Yeah. It's going to be freaking ugly. Gallup is really ugly. So, um, um, this is not a place you want to be. You're going to keep getting tastes of what it's like to be in the, in the world the way it's supposed to be, and you keep having to come back here. It's going to have a little bit of psychological impact on people because Minecraft is sort of like our world, right? The, the players, we're used to it being a certain way and, and looking really cool and stuff, right? And this is going to be all jacked up over here. I, the idyllic Minecraft world versus the actual... Like, so you get a feel of what it's like to be Native American and have to live in a damn border town. Yeah. See what I mean? I do. So, So you can't leave this area and you can't leave the Hogan area um, until you've completed all the quests. And when you do that, you will be free to explore the beautiful part of the map, the part that you can see but can't get to, Yeah. unless you're there by teleporter. You're going to be free to explore, and if you go the right way and follow the hints, that's where that. Did you see that um, download of Turtle Island that I'm going to use for the finish? Yeah, it is epic looking. Dude! Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh beautiful. my God! So that's the thing. So you, what your job is to restore Turtle Island. It won't be like it used to be. It won't ever, and it shouldn't be because things evolve over time. That's natural, right? But you're going to be part of restoring Turtle Island so that she's whole and healthy again and a beautiful place for people to live. Very cool. Very cool. So that's okay. the map. Like cool. it. Yep. Very There's going to be a little bit of archaeology, like, um, I don't know if you know about Chaco Canyon up in the Four Corners. Yes. <coughs> there are beautiful, beautiful, uh, what do you call those things? Um, pueblos. 
talking about the the uh, the Anasazi. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a trade route. It's more than Anasazi. There's a lot of people. You know, there's Mexicans up there, dude. There, yeah, they dude. found Mexican bones. They found um, macaw oh. parrots from the Yucatan, and those people walked, man. There's yeah, stuff from the East Coast, the West Coast, Canada, all the way down into Central America. They traded stuff all the way around there. No, no, trust me. Yeah, if you, uh, no, no, you know what she's doing, dude? Uh, I don't know if you know who, uh, who Adrian, uh, who, who Brightmore is. Uh, he's, a, he's a really, like, uh, he's, he's a I'm using production. filters. Yeah, he has MC Edit filters, and he actually custom made one for, uh, for, uh... Yeah, he made one for this map. This, the pot and, that's why I wanted you to see the pots and baskets in the other places on the map. You haven't seen them yet. You well, you saw a crack, or? huh? Can, can I see those right now? Is that something? Yeah, warp to acacia. Okay. Sure. Acacia. A C C A I. No, A C A C I A. Thank you. I always spell that wrong. And then get out of the pot. This one's made out of dirt and stuff, cause I wanted it to be. This all poop. Why can't I fly? Why I no fly? This is where they're gonna learn agriculture, because golden turkey is making me customize crops, real indigenous Native American crops. So wow. this is going to be where they're going to learn to farm. There's going to be, hey, guess get, guess what, Neuro. There's going to be cactus pears. Oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> buddy. There's going to be, there's not going to be napalitos, but there's going to be cactus pears. Napalitos oh. would just be too hard. Don't but yeah, this stuff. is all going to be farms and stuff. So this, this is acacia. This is one of the pots I made. And now what other warps we got? Warp, what? I said there was a big pot. There was, uh, what else was there? What did I see? Oh, God, split wood. No, this is it for now. Oh, wait! <gasps> Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I forgot to make a warp for one of them. Ah. Uh, uh, it's my bad. My bad. There's yeah. one by a temple that, uh... Oh, I'd have to run around and look for it, but it's a hardened clay pot on its side, and it's spilling water, and it's right near a temple, but, oh, lordy, I have to go find it. I ain't going to drag you around to do that, but, yeah, so over here is where they learn a little bit about native foods. I love the theme. The theme is great. The I theme think, is great, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it's cool how, like, involved it is, too. It's not just like, okay, let's make some teepees or, you know. Dude, you know what? Doc M77 like blocked me on all social media because I just very gently suggested that you, first of all, that not, you're building a southwestern native settlement in on Minecraft, and there are no teepees here. Oh, and wow. then I also said, and um, you don't mix teepees and um, totem poles because um, Native American people are real sensitive about cultural appropriation. Yeah. And it might be interpreted as racist. I said the R word, man, and he stone cold blocked me on all social media. I'm like, way to learn stuff, dude. <laughs> God, you know, like, germ you're German and you're liberal, and you do you know that Hitler modeled what he did after Andrew Jackson? Bro, you need to, like, suck it up. This isn't about your ego. It's about what you're teaching kids. At which point I got totally PO'd and said, and then I found Adam Clark, man. I found him because of the Tate thing, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, I, so I started watching his old Minecraft videos and his tutorials. And I'm like, dude, I can make a command block. That's easier than redstone. And then I started watching some of his other stuff. And I'm like, dude, I can do that pixel art thingy. And I can. And then I started looking at who he was following on Twitter. And that's how I found Adrian Brightmore and, you know, the crew. I found them all. Yeah, you know, Q Magnet and Cordy, blah, blah, the pie. And all that. I'm hanging out with them people now. <laughs> you know, those, those, those YouTube celebrities, yeah. pfft, that's so last year, you know, yep, so yep. I'm hanging out with them, I'm even playing with them, dude, I'm playing with the map builders now, ooh, I'm so bad, so, um, <laughs> can't get 50, can't get 50 views on the video, but I'm so bad, so uh -huh. I said, you know, people be like, you know, pause on pause with the damn headdress and tomahawk, now, I'm not saying these aren't nice people, all right, 
get get that. But you know, Tomahawk has never seen a Native American person in his life, and he doesn't even know that what he's doing is disrespectful, right? Well, I'm not going to try to go to them and educate them and tell them what they need to do. What I'm my, what I'm responsible for is the kids playing the game, and if I can introduce a map that says, well. Maybe being Native American might be more like this than a 1930s racist cartoon, you know? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, because these people are my friends, and I'm like, Native American people don't even play Minecraft. And when I look up stuff about Native American and Minecraft, there's like nothing except silly tomahawks and teepees and war bonnets and <laughs> ew! So I said, you know, you can sit around and bitch about it, girl, or you can make a map. So, yeah, all right. I mean, if you, if you educate one person, just one yeah, person, it's worth it. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, like R. Smellick, why are you doing radiation poisoning with a... I don't understand. And then he saw my video with Sparks, he's like, whoa. I said, yeah, see, this is what I'm telling you. So, okay, I've lectured you guys enough. But you see why I'm so excited about it? Why I'm staying up until 3 o'clock in the morning and stuff? Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's good to be passionate about it. That's, Absolutely. You know, so, do you think this will do you any good, Neuro? This map? I don't know. We're not, we don't even. We don't really have any adventure maps on the on our server right now. Do we? And here's another thing. You got to know this. I am not Navajo, and I am not Hopi. I don't even identify as Native American. Um, I really do have a great grandmother who was full-blooded Cherokee, but I don't have any tribal papers, and you know Uncle Sam wants all that crap, and you know everybody pretends they got a Cherokee grandmother and all that junk, and I wasn't raised among my people, and I don't know anything. I was raised in the suburbs. Of, I was raised in Van Nuys, California, Holmes. There you go. You know, nice. Nice. the closest I've been to Native American is cruising on Wednesday nights to Bob's Hamburger Place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, that's you know that's all I know, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to pass myself off. Okay, there ain't gonna be no hunky sweat lodges coming out of me. But I don't. I also have to be sensitive to Native American people who have had their stuff ripped off for centuries. Sure. You know. So here's the thing. I'm poor as dirt. You know, I don't have plumbing or, or running water, right? You know that. Mm-hmm. I poop in an old um, trick or treat bucket. I do. Um, so I can make some money off of this map. I'm not saying I'm going to make any money off of it, but I could, all right? It, you know, you never know what's going to pick up and what's not. It, it, with that Planet Minecraft, that ad thing, whatever yeah. whatever it is, don't you get like a few cents that they downloaded or something? something I, ain't, like that. I ain't keeping none of the money. Okay? I'm not keeping it. I'm going to donate it to um, um, a local youth program for um, Indian kids. Uh-uh. I'm not keeping the money. Oh. Nope. Mm-hmm. I mean, because this is not my people, and this is not my thing, and what I want to do is, I want to do two things with this map. I want to say, yo, Native Americans, um, if you don't know about Minecraft, and especially Minecraft EDU teaching things with Mm -hmm. Minecraft in the the classroom, Mm -hmm. you might want to check it out, right? Um, because I think it's a perfect fit for native kids because it's about adventure and art is geometric and you know all that kind of stuff Um, and for non-native people I want to say yo maybe some of the stuff you think you know about Native American people maybe it's not maybe you're not Maybe somebody isn't telling you stuff that you might want to know, because once you've been through this map, you're you're not going. Your experience with Native American people is not going to be the same. Yeah, I think it's completely uh, different than people imagine it. I, you know, there's the the caricature that exists kind of in society. Uh-huh. That's, that's all everybody knows. Uh-huh. Yeah, a- so, do you think I'm doing the right thing, Neural? I think you're doing an amazing thing. I think it's an important message. I think it should be supported. I totally think that that's a, an area that nobody knows about. Uh, and it's a great way to do it. I you know, it, you know who Immersive Mind is? That Stephen Reed from, I think he's from Scotland. Uh, uh, yes, I do actually. Yeah, they, uh, I. Um, he's he's one. Of, he, after you, he was the first person I whitelisted on the server. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, we're talking about how to get um, some interest in it. Oh God, I forgot. I have to do game one more. G A M E M O D E one um we're talking about how to get some buzz going and get some information this is part of my portfolio along with some other native stuff i've done um 
to try to get some interest in doing Minecraft EDU in Indian country. Oh, okay. So, and he's like, yeah, you know? So, um, that's why he came on, because he, he saw it before anything was really here. I can't wait for him to come back, um, because it doesn't look anything like it did when he first got here. Um, so he's, uh, got some energy for helping me out with that and plugging me in with Minecraft EDU. And, um, I'll have to work out the native, um, contacts on my own end. Just be careful not to make it too big so that it's overwhelming, because... I know. It's going to be a few coyote stories and a few things to bring back, and that's what it's going to be. Cool. You'll Perfect. see. It's going to be a sampler. It's a sampler. Okay. And I'm keeping, literally, physically, the map small, too. Good. Basically, what I'm saying is don't get in my way when everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we know that emotion. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I've thought very long and hard about the symbols and images that I use in this map. Um, and um, like this vase right here, this jar that we're in right now, I could have appropriated a sacred symbol. Instead, I looked up turtles. And I see from what I've read in the research I've done that the symbol I'm using is not appropriation. It refers to some modern interpretations of turtles by several different nations of people, but it is not a sacred symbol. I will ask. Okay? Same thing with coyote. I'm not going to get into any sacred stuff or ceremonies or anything like that. It's oh, yeah. just going to be a few fairy tales and, you know, because coyotes, coyote stories are funny, you know? Yeah. No, they're, 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 very funny. they're very funny animals, actually. Well, yes, they are. I've had to live around them for quite some time and try to raise chickens. Now, there's a challenge. This is not a tourist trap. These are not souvenirs. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Thank you guys very much for being supportive and stuff. Yeah, our pleasure. Yep, I'm totally excited about your project, by the way. This is fun. Thanks. It's going to be good. It's off to a Thanks. very good start. I like Thank it. Thank you. Like it. Cool. Hee <laughs> hee. See you later then, Greg. See ya. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adopt. Get it!